vibros? Because we know the vibras. Welcome back to another episode of the You Know the Vibras podcast. I'm the one and only Wanda Don, and as always, I'm accompanied by Michael Carrasco. Happy post July 4th. Happy for post 4th of July. Um, man, what's up? How was your uh, 4th of July, man? How, did you do anything or what did nah, you Nah, man, I, I, I chill. I chill. I used to stay home. Um, I had to work in the morning, mm-hmm. which wasn't, I mean, it was slow, so it wasn't too bad. But apart from that, you stay home, chill, relax. Uh, had a couple uh, adult drinks, and that's it pretty much, man. How about you? Likewise, I stayed in, had to work. The next day in the morning, um, man, I don't know if I feel like, I feel like every year it just like gets worse in the sense of like people just go all out and like you cannot go to sleep mm-hmm. because you, all you hear is fireworks the whole night. You know what I mean? Right. This year was bad. Um, It's funny because when I was on my way to work at like four in the morning, there was still fireworks going off. I'm like, how is this even possible? Damn, man. Yeah. So, uh. It sounded like a war zone the whole night, man. And and I was like, man, this is insane. (laughs) But, um, nah, you know, a lot of barbecue in the air. I didn't get to partake, you know, but a lot of barbecue in the air. You can smell it in the, in the, uh, outside, you know what I mean? And, um, I just hope everybody had a good time and everybody stayed safe. And, yo, there's this new firework, man, that's been trending. I don't know if you saw it. (laughs) It's Mm. called, uh, this mic can correct me, but it's called El Diablo or something like that. And basically, Dang. you you light it up. It, it goes up, but then it like comes down and lands like, like like a freaking. It just descends and like goes down like, like a, a like a attack. like an airstrike. Yeah, like airstrike, <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh, I've been seeing yeah, that all over the place. Yeah, so man. it's a new, it's a new, uh, it's a new, um, it's a new firework, man. And this, you know, there was one. Oh, that's crazy. Where, I see people getting hurt. Yeah, people getting hurt, and I've seen uh, like a two different point of views. Like there was one guy that lit it off, and then there was another guy that's gonna light another firework off, and it like landed right next to him, and like boom, like you know what I mean? It was crazy. Damn, yeah, man. But um, yeah, man, this firework is getting crazy, man. Yeah, a lot of people are spending a lot of money on these too, so it's just crazy. Man. I mean, facts, man. I seen that like people, I seen people spend like thousands, and I mean thousands of dollars in fireworks each year. Uh, I mean, I guess if you if you can can afford it. Is uh and you enjoy your time. I think that's what matters at the end of the day. But there's people that go all out, that that go crazy with the fireworks. Mm-hmm. Not facts, but um, let us know in the comments. Uh, what you guys do for July Fourth? If you, if you guys did anything, and let us know how your whole uh weekend was as well. Um, but let's get into the episode. As you guys see in the in the uh, title, we're just gonna go basically basically over the worst trends of the uh two thousands uh end to date. Like you know, what I mean, like. Trends mm-hmm. that we just believe, you know, were, you know, questionable and, uh, you know, should stay where they were and not come back at all. Right. So right. Uh, before we get into this, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to like this video and comment down below before we even start. What's uh, some of the worst trends that you guys have in mind? But let's get jump right into this. Uh, I'll give you the uh, platform. Yes, to start sir, it yes, off. sir. With the first one. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to start with one that uh, uh, I feel like it, it should have never even started. But that was the whole pop collar, uh, I would say, trend that was going on back in the days. Uh, essentially, you just wear your, yeah. your color shirts like this, That's man. That's horrible. That's pathetic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't going to lie. I did partake in it for a little Heck bit. Heck no. I could uh, never, bro. I, I thought it was cool because everybody was doing it, but nah. looking back at it, it's like, it's like, especially now when you watch like all their like early 2000 movies, late 2000, uh, early 2010s movie, you see people, you know, wearing the pop car. I'm like, yo, that was kind of stupid. Nah, that, it was, that, that's horrible. I mean, me personally, I would definitely be against that. And I always thought it didn't really make sense to do so. Mm. But I mean... I don't know. Some people would think that they would be swagged out, but I just think it just doesn't right. look right to me. I don't know why. And it seems uncomfortable. You know, it seems uncomfortable because you have that against your neck and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. The, the real question is... looking like a vampire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the real question is, is it is it like fashion 
like in the fashion law book or rule book, is it wrong to do so? Like, or is mm, it, or is it a, a way that question. you could wear a polo shirt? That's the real question. You know what I mean? I mean, now, now I just wear like, like you're supposed to wear a polo shirt, you know? Right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But stay, staying on shirts, um, mine's I'm gonna go with, uh, and I and I definitely partook in this, but now like getting older, <laughs> I feel like it just didn't make sense, or and to me it just doesn't right. make sense. And I feel like some people could pull it off, but I'm not a fan of it anymore. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be the infamous V necks. Oh, I was gonna bring that one yeah. up, but I agree, man. So 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 it all depends, cause I mean, you know, there's subtle V necks. You know, I'm still kind of posting them, but like the right. long ones. Man. Where you, you see, you see like half of your, like <laughs> half of your chest. <laughs> like I understand man, you hit the gym, bro, but come on, man, you don't gotta, you know. <laughs> I don't, I don't see the purpose of it. Uh, but I mean, for some reason, everybody that wore a V-neck always had like their their sunglasses like hang, hanging yeah. right there on the corner. I'm like, damn. Bro. Yeah, nah, facts. But yeah, nah, I agree. I agree. The V-neck was uh. It's a little bit too much. I mean, they're low key falling uh, off, though. I haven't seen much people with V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, it's interesting to see the evolution of fashion, like uh, how things just disappear on their own. Right, right, right. No, that's true. That's true. That's true. But I do agree. The 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 V necks was was definitely one of those things that I was like, nah, nah, I pass. I probably only ever owned like one V neck, and I ber- I I probably used it like once. <laughs> but here let, let me go silence. to one uh, uh this was like i would say towards the end of our like i would say high school student career and it's the all over print emoji clothing whether it was a t-shirt facts joggers hoodies yeah that that, that yeah. one that one was that bad. was bad uh the, i feel like the more guilty um the people that were guilty of this, I'd say, or, or the company, I'd say, that was guilty of this was Rule Twenty One, mm-hmm. not paid, you know, not sponsored. Right. Like Rule Twenty One yeah, had like yeah, the yeah, yeah. had the emoji outfits, the freaking mm-hmm. uh, hot Cheeto outfits. Right. Like, yeah. and I feel like those are worse too. I feel like that's even worse than the emoji ones. It was like the freaking like chip or whatever company <laughs> brand like all over your you know Funny all over <laughs> so you had the jogger the whole jogger suit you know the the freaking uh yeah. and some people you probably go the whole nine yards and even get the socks you know what i mean because there were there were some socks fast. that had uh like the um they had like uh emojis also but also had like the uh the chips uh you know the chips thing mm-hmm. on there as well so i feel like uh between the two i definitely think the chips one was worse than the Word emojis, words. right? Right. But still, the emoji ones was worse. And then when you wash them, you know, you see these people and they wash it them. All they, they all faded. They all faded. They look horrible. <laughs> all faded. So uh, yeah, I was not a fan of the emoji one or the chips one at all. I'm not gonna. And some people thought they were swaggy. I mean, you know, but hey, I mean, yeah, to all, yeah. Uh, you know, you know, everybody, I guess, has their own sense of fashion. But I mean, I guess you get a pass. I guess you get a pass in uh, in high school or in or whatever. But uh, right. Right. It was worse, man. Like, like it was one thing seeing like uh, kids like in high school wearing it. Mm-hmm. But it was worse when you saw people that weren't even like older people wearing it. I was like, dude, you said, seriously? Yeah. Not nah, facts. Um, Going back, I'd say to middle school. Well, we're, we're referring to our generation, but you guys, I don't, know how, how you, I don't know how you guys will want to word it with years and stuff like that for you guys. Um. But man, there was a very uh I don't know if this was just the East Coast thing or just the Maryland thing or what. Mm. But there was a very controversial uh like now it's super controversial cuz I mean back then I guess it made sense to us but now looking right. back on it, it made no sense. And it's the infamous uh Nike socks with Sperry's. Ah, uh, true. So, yeah. so those who don't know Sperry's are a boat shoe. Shoe, I guess you gonna yep. call it like shoes made for like you know when you're going on the beach or you're going like fishing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, they're very casual, you know. what I mean, a super casual uh, shoe, but it, it just doesn't make sense with for Nike sock because Nike sock obviously, obviously is athletic. You know what I mean? So it always was very confusing. I mean, and but to us, it made sense. I even I, 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 I partook in it as well. I part, I part, 
Yeah, I, I did. I did that too. I think I had yeah, a picture like somewhere. I'm gonna have to send it. Fishing at five. Have to send you that picture. Hoops at, at six. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it was crazy, man. I mean, if you if you if you really want to do a double down, um, also uh, you could throw in uh, the infamous shark tooth or like seashell uh, necklace. That people they, okay. there, was, there was a little phase where people were rocking these yeah. as well to school, um, like Surfer Boy. I guess that's when Hollister was like uh, really it was Hollister oh, was really yeah, popping, yeah, so people yeah, were really yeah. doing like the whole Surfer Boy trend, you know, and mm-hmm, trying to get the mm-hmm. uh, the necklace in there as well, paired with the Hollister shirts. And I mean, we could we could talk about that. Like it, it was a point in time where Hollister was a very huge brand. And uh, it's like if you had it, you were, you know, you were you were one of the popular kids. You were, yeah. Yeah. No, that's true. I feel like uh, Hollister was like forever 21 kind of is now. Uh, but what I, came first? Aeropostle or, or Hollister? Or they came at the same time? I think I think they came right around the same time. But like Hollister was kind of like the cheaper version. No, Aeropostle was cheaper. Uh, uh yeah yeah, yeah. A- Aeropostle was like the cheaper ver- version of Hollister. No, they because they weren't yeah. similar. They were not because Hollister is a surfer brand, but they were right. both competing because they both you know had that. Uh, I guess they were both affordable. I'd say, but in the sense of like right, they yes. had a lot of yes. uh, variety, but more so the year. I think that that that's what like the big thing. Eighty seven was known to be Holl- or Aeropostle, mm-hmm. and I don't know which one was Hollister. I think it was just H, whatever. They just go back based off the abbreviation. But um, that is true. Let us know in the comments, man. Which team were you, man? This 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 takes me back to like when you used to go to the mall when we we're like exactly middle school, high school, man. What what was your go to store? Well, I mean, I don't know. I didn't, Apart from yeah. from the candy shop, <laughs> yeah, I never go to candy shop. I mean. If you want to, if you want to talk about food, it's definitely the food court. You go to the the Japanese, oh, yeah. uh, yeah, you know, the, the teriyaki spot uh, to go thing, like the rice. But um, yep, yep. I think I was a more yeah, I was more of a Hollister. I mean, definitely Aeropostale at first, but then I transitioned over to Hollister heavy. You yeah, know what I mean? and then no, obviously I got to the Express uh, point in my life where to the Express I just point, rocked yep, a lot of yep. Express. Um, but yeah, I think at one point I was yeah. shopping a lot of packs on. Oh okay, yeah, I never, I never been there. But yeah, I think I was Express more than the the Hollister and and yeah, exactly. I was more Express. Now that I think about it. What about no, you? Yeah, yeah. I I would say uh definitely like a little bit of everything. Uh, for some reason, like I feel we started all Aeropostale, has then Hollister. Then for some reason, I don't know. Like I went through a phase where I wanted to be more like. I think that's when I really started getting to the more like streetwear style. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I started shopping at uh, uh, Zoomies. Mm. Shout out to Zoomies. I also went, you know, I used to ride uh, longboard, so used to always be at Zoomies and uh, Poxy. Oh, also during uh, Aeropostale and uh, Hollister's run, Abercrombie and Fitch was there as well. Mm-hmm. Um, that mm-hmm. was another brand. We're forgetting about one too. American Eagle. Oh damn! Facts. Yeah, that that was all. Can't that was all of the. Uh, yeah, there was there was all of the hitters, and it's crazy how yeah. how they fell off. Because nah, now, because now, if you put them on, people would look at you like. You know it's what I mean? Child <laughs> yeah, yeah. Facts. So facts. I mean, and it's sad that they tra- right? that they kind of are now represented i'd say by like uh i guess you want to say immigrants i guess if you want to put it like that literally mm, like it's because okay, it, okay. so if you want to look at it these i guess those brands are always known to be more af- just there to be affordable i guess for the right yeah 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 because yeah, there was no, a time where um where, where i remember as a kid uh my mom would buy these things and send them to dr because in dr you couldn't have access to them because those stores didn't exist mm-hmm. over there but now it's like nobody wears them even in DR. So it's like now, who yo, them here? facts and that so crazy. So like here, the migrants, <laughs> I feel like, trans, like you know, transition to them. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. No, that's true. That's true. That's true. But I um, agree. 
Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, I remember when I first got my first Hollister shirt. That was like, man, I felt like a king. Man. Exciting moment. Yeah, huh? he was ready to go to school, and uh, I remember, you know, it was always a challenge, you know, coming up with outfits in school because in school you had to be very careful repeating outfits and stuff like that. But also, you had knowing, to spread it out exactly. Yeah, and you know, especially if you were one of those guys that partook in bullying, you didn't want to get bullied as well. So. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> I agree, man. I feel like fashion was uh, going to school was like a little. You, you definitely, it was definitely challenging because one, you had to like figure out uh, how to how to how to not repeat like your your outfits mm -hmm. too often. Um, yeah, it was it was a tough time until you get to college. College, nobody really cares. <laughs> yeah, everybody's in sweatpants and stuff. Exactly. I was one of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> you got a nice uh, one. But the, the, next, the next trend, uh, I thought it was cool. But I don't know if you remember the, the whole printed socks. Printed socks. You remember, like, people, would, they, they would sell these socks that had, like, uh, they would have, like, cartoons. Uh, some of them would have, like, like a highlight picture of a basketball player that will kind of like uh, print them all over. Socks? No. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not too familiar with that one. Let me, let me see if I can find one here, and I, I'm going a, I'm to a show you. I'm going to show you. Printed socks. No, I'm not too familiar. But, I mean, socks was always a big thing, too. I mean, in fashion. Um, right. And, and, and when you're younger, because... You know, you, you couldn't have like uh, a certain brand. Like, if, I mean, those who had Nike Elite socks were, you know, were goaded. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially the one. With, oh, like, that was the, a big thing. Yeah, especially the <laughs> Man, ones with yeah. the with the uh, squares on the back. Of the, the uh, yeah, of your, yeah, of your, of your, yeah. Those were the like the super elite socks. You know what I mean? Like, I think uh, nah, I remember, they were I remember, expensive yeah. though, bro. For a pair, it was like they 15, were. You they, know, that's twenty dollars. Yeah, like fifteen a pair. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're still expensive. But I feel now that we have adult money, they seem a lot, a lot more, a uh, lot more affordable mm -hmm. per se. But yeah, yeah, now I do remember that that used to be if you had like some elite socks, mm -hmm. uh, that was that was a big flex. I gotta go back to necklace though, bro. I wanna I wanna touch one necklace for all my mm -hmm. uh, baseball players. I know you know what I'm talking about. There's a big trend with the, like the balance uh, necklace. It's like this rope necklace that people wore for like balance. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so like baseball, yeah, all the baseball players those. are rocking these like balance those. necklaces to yeah. school, not just on the field to school itself. Dress and dress in school, yeah, with fashion, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I remember fashion those. Thing. There was also at one point there was like a little. Uh, there was like a bracelet as well. They had like a little circle on it. That was for like balance or something as well. A lot of people oh, I know exactly. You were they, they were like they had like the the mud uh, inside of them, something yeah, like that. Something, bro. And uh, it's funny how we're so gullible and we believe in these things, and uh, they ne Facts, never really worked man. because the uh, the the use supposedly the the uh, purpose of that necklace supposedly was to be better performance and like batting mm -hmm. or whatever and giving you balance, right? I don't know, but people just buy the things because they see their favorite players, uh, you know, wearing them and wearing it. Yeah, and then they yeah, think yeah. that it would work for them. It's like that, uh, those shoes, like those pump shoes that you know people used to wear because if you pumped it, they say you jump higher, and then that's you know it never Facts. really worked. Really work, you know? so, um, <laughs> but yeah, I remember seeing right, all the right, kids right. with those uh, rope necklaces. And uh, yeah, yeah, I know exactly which one you're talking about. They also had like at one point they had like a little bracelet you could you could get to. Yeah. Uh, now, nah, but I, yeah, yeah, I I I understand that one. For me, it never really made sense. Uh, I guess when we were playing baseball, uh, I think I the secret it, was get a lot of plantains yeah. and uh, you'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but staying on bracelet really quick uh, mm -hmm. or the wrist. Um, do you remember the infamous uh, silly bands trend? Yes, <laughs> the silly bands, man. <laughs> People were addicted to those, man. man. Like, how did these trends even start? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Bro. Like, Yo, I have no idea. I remember, like, could be, could be. 
But I remember like trading silly bands. Uh, <laughs> you get like <laughs> that. You you will find like the glow in the dark ones, man. It was a, such a big flex. You have like a like a stack of them on your on, on your, your wrist. wrist. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Wait. So what would you say was the bigger uh, bracelet uh, trend between the silly bands mm -hmm. and the uh, the breast cancer awareness? I love boobies uh, bracelets. Ooh, tough. Tough. I feel like the I love <laughs> boobies what was bigger. That was but huge. then again, then again, the silly bands were it went. They both crazy they both too. they both were big, man. They both did. They both they were both big. Did. But I think if you had the I love boobies because it was a more expensive bracelet, I feel like you were right, right. And they had different they were distinct because they had different colors. Different um, colors. I mean silly mm -hmm. bands as well, but silly bands just seemed more childish, I'd say. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. But that was a, I would say silly bands was like a, a, a quicker like thing that happened and then it left within like Yeah, they break so easily weeks. too. But I, yeah. do, I do remember people trading them though, like you said. <laughs> that was a funny thing. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's crazy. It's like, yo, oh, you got a dinosaur? <laughs> I got SpongeBob. <laughs> that's so wild. Man. I'm surprised they went away though. Silly bands could be a thing that would be, that would be, you know. You know what was, was funny, bro? I actually saw them somewhere though. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> this your sell those? Damn. <laughs> That's funny, man. Man, here here's one. Uh, speaking of like childish stuff, I don't know if this one will be childish, but uh, the whole fidget spinner, oh yeah, uh, trend. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that that was a big thing, and I mean, I remember it was at one point in one of my uh, classes we even made fidget spinners. Oh word! Yeah, no, that's lit. Like in the, um, I can't remember what class it was. Like some. Art, not architecture, something like that, where you like you know one of the CTE classes where you build stuff or make stuff. It was like wood, wood okay, something. Okay, okay, okay. Or art class. I don't know. It was like one of those you know extended you know art classes. Um, and yeah, we made them. But yeah, fidget spinners are you know a very addicting, and uh, even till this yeah, day, you know, man. people still use them. Um, it's crazy how how it works, but no, it's they, cool. they have people on a show call, man. <laughs> 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 no nah, facts. Um, oh, this is one that uh, you know I never really understood the purpose of these. Mm -hmm. These glasses just never make sense to me. I guess they they I understand where they were going with the fashion, you know. But the uh, infamous shutter shades. Yeah. Like, yep. what was the point of those? Because you can't you even see boy, through yeah, them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can't even facts. see through them though. Facts. Like, and he, he shows no protect. It, he has no protective like reasoning. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it. I mean, personally, I never understood it. Um, mm -hmm. I guess it's a fashion thing, but it just never made sense right. to me. And I didn't really look that fashionably correct either way. So, no, that's true. That's true. Um, Another thing, like with glasses, I I don't know if you remember where people will, will like uh, put tape. Take the, oh, the lenses yeah. out and then put tape in the metal yeah. of the of the that was sunglasses. Like a quirky, uh, thing. Cor yeah. 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 Nah, that was that, that was, was one. Along with the three uh, D glasses. Yeah, the three D <laughs> glasses was huge. The movie glasses you would uh, mm -hmm. take them to uh, school and rock them. Even the uh, yep. there was these glasses that were made for like the sun or whatever. I guess people when they get their eyes fixed or whatever, like some people. Would rock these. It was like these. Um, uh, they're like plastic. Oh, oh I right? think. Yeah, like I wobbly. think. I think I know exactly which one you're talking about. The one that you had to wear uh, after you, you. Yeah. After your eye doctor. Yeah, appointment. exactly. And mm -hmm. funny story, guys. <clears throat> you know, in typical Wanda Don fashion. Um, I I, <laughs> I used to try to fail on purpose the uh, eye test and the doctor and my physical oh, so I could get glasses and they never it never worked. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd just see it clear as day. I'd be reading it so wrong and then never, never would work. <laughs> Man, me, I was the other way around. I, I I tried to like try to cheat on it and I didn't have to get glasses, man. Yeah, man. but I wear them with pride, man. I wear my glasses with pride when I wear them. Yes, sir. But he, he's another one, man. Uh, the heavily edited pictures. Oh, man. I had a ton of those. I remember Shout out Picard. Pic <laughs> I thought it was Picnic. Picnic was the biggest one. Pic they, they were like uh, uh, Picnic, Picard. Uh, then somehow I, I stumbled into, on, onto Photoshop. 
Yeah, and, uh, nah, I was playing picnic. some crazy effects on them things. You'd be surprised. Bro, picnic probably has created some of the best oh, of yeah. uh, graphic designers to now and day. You know, you know, Yo, facts. <laughs> facts. But uh, man, I remember uh, it was a thing. Man, it just brought up an idea. Yeah, I don't know if you guys again. I don't know if this is just a Facebook or a East Coast thing or what, but mm-hmm. Pinknick brought up an idea, and this one we used to do like the versus pictures. So, true. so basically, true. it could be guys like you know, for instance, me and Michael. We post, you know, both have a selfie, make it a collage, put the VS in the middle, and people mm-hmm. would comment, you know, who you think looks one or two. I think it's ba- basically <laughs> who looks better. Right, you right, I mean? right. And people would just comment like, "Oh, it was a versus," and it was like an ego boost as well because you know, oh, I beat, mm-hmm. you, I beat you in the versus, like, oh, blah, blah, blah. like you just feel like, damn, like, I don't know, you feel like people wanted you. And then there was a way that you know you could kind of see who had their eye on you as well from, from Facebook. <laughs> yeah, so that's true, even think man. about oh, wait, talking about Facebook. This is a trend as well when people used to do the mm-hmm. uh, mother. You know the dad, the uh, oh, brother, yeah, sister. Yeah, I remember yeah, the, the other day I was looking on my face. I'm like, who the heck is? That? Why they're my brother? Why they my Yo. cousin? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think I still have you in the rail as my brother. Yeah. <laughs> there. It's crazy, man. It's weird. Man. <laughs> oh man, Yo, that was. Cr- I remember that face. Or, or like, uh, you you kind of like uh, if you had like a friend from the opposite side, uh, a sex or mm-hmm. whatever, like you would put him as like. Uh, well, like wife or something. Mm-hmm. It was crazy. Yeah, exactly. It was a crazy exactly. Face. Yeah, not for sure. Um, yeah, it was definitely weird and crazy. And uh, how did Facebook let us get? Fa- away, Facebook get away used to be that. an interesting. <laughs> uh, you know, it was a huge. I feel like a huge part of our childhood. And um, oh, my childhood, yeah. I remember yeah. even writing on walls on your wall, like somebody's wall, or, or doing wall, to be yeah. honest, doing rates. Man, rates used to be a huge Yo, thing. Facts. Rates, rates used, used to be, to be a be... massive thing. And uh, humbling, right. humbling as well as uh, humbling, yes, <laughs> yes, or the the shadows for shout outs, yeah, exactly. But yeah, uh, man. who man, I, f- I kind of I kind of feel bad <laughs> for this generation, man. Yeah. We used to have fun on social media. I mean, media. Instagram, even at the point, Instagram had uh, rates and stuff as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you do the rates, uh, hey, how did it work? Uh, so you'd post it, but would you, would you outs. comment it or would you DM them the rate? I think you DM them the rate. I that I, I think some people would like kind of like just on one of the random pictures. Oh like, yeah, pictures you're right. Yeah, like that. damn, that's dope. Uh, <laughs> then when DM when DMs uh, became popular, yeah. I feel like that that was a, a lot of people started. Nah, but DMing the to be the to be honest post was the one. The to be honest, that, that, that's where it was at. That's where it was at. <laughs> to be honest, post was bad. <laughs> oh man, that just it was funny, man. Let me. The majority, honestly, of them were like, to be honest, you're a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> right, yo. Facts. Facts. Yo, facts. Man. <laughs> it's like some people were like, yeah, you tr- you try to be nice, so you said something I'm like, yeah, you're a stranger. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Crazy. Yeah. But uh, going back to the, some of these uh, trends, uh, do you remember the infamous Wiz Khalifa patch, like the yellow patch? A lot of people started mm-hmm. to to get influence from the Wiz Khalifa, like a uh, golden patch, like right there in the front. Right, yeah, Trying yeah, to be yeah, yeah. Uh, Wiz Khalifa 2.0. A lot of people were, were rocking that there um, yep. in, in school as well. When he or the was... Drake's role. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> oh, man. That, I was like, some of the, those that did not make sense. But I ain't going to lie, man. The, the, uh, the barbers used to get creative. I agree. I remember uh, and, I was looking at older pictures. I'm like, damn. Fat, <laughs> fat. <laughs> I used to get the free cuts. Like, hey, that's true. That is true. I, man, I, I I I was looking back. I was like, damn, man. I think my mom let me get that haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I remember at one point I was getting like a hashtag on the back. <laughs> I was like, what the? Now I'm looking back and I'm like, why did I even do that? Nah, that's crazy. Speaking of hairstyle, man, I feel uh, we we definitely didn't partake, but the whole Bieber Justin Bieber haircut. <laughs> so I said we, did, we didn't partake, <laughs> and yeah. uh, and all the kids. Were, yeah, facts. That used to freaking drive me nuts, man. 
Nah, yeah, facts. But the hair flip. Yeah, for sure. The hair flip was a big one. I'm like, it, that did not make sense. I'm trying to think what other hairstyles were, were huge at that time. The mohawk. Oh, yeah, mohawk was massive. Mm-hmm. Super huge, man. Um, what I, I mean, waves, waves always been a big thing. The waves, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, honestly, those. Uh, I have a, a do a, a fashion one that that I never really been a fan of. Mm-hmm. The only times I've been a fan of this particular fashion thing is when you know we'd get an excuse in school to make them. Um, mm. but tie dye shirts. I never really liked tie dye shirts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You big? Have you? Did you ever like tie dye? I mean, I I only really like wear tie dye shirts that like I would make in school. Yeah, I think those those will be the only one. Apart from that, I'm not not a big tie dye person. Uh, I think some of the staff in school, some people they get creative yeah. with it. People are doing socks, but as not well. not a big. Yeah, yeah. But not not a big not a big fan. It's cool when you get to make them though. Nah, facts. Definitely interesting how you can make them. It's, it's super. Uh, it's interesting process and how it works. Um, mm-hmm. But also, uh, we then we missed this big one. Was we're basically in the early two thousands when, you know, everybody was rocking five X shirts and shorts. But it's kind of making its way. Oh, the short yeah. Shaloki waking is made its way back. Cause I see a lot of people rocking Facts, big jeans. Yeah. Um. Stuff like oversized that. Yeah, pants. oversized pants. So I guess it's coming back again. Yeah, it is. It is. And I don't like it, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't like it. Um I don't I don't know what sparked it to come back, but I'm like, uh, this again. Mm-hmm. It's like I thought we left that in 2010. <laughs> but it's making its way back. But he 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 here's a trend that uh a current trend that I I I don't think is really good. Um for the white girl dirty air forces. Yeah. I'm like, uh eh, like come on now. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna start driving around with the like With cleaner. some uh, baking soda, <laughs> water, and a little brush, I'm like, bro, this drives me crazy. <laughs> oh, facts. There was a there was an artist one time. I think it was Little B. He had like these vans. He just never took off. It was like super dirty, and uh, it was like an interesting mm-hmm. trend that came out of that. Um, yeah, yeah, no, that's true. There was trend. I mean, you could go based off of uh, also trends uh, that influenced heavily on fashion. Um, mm-hmm. dance, uh, music trends. Sorry, were like basically at the time of like the jerk, and uh, you the know jerk. during all those times, mm-hmm. there was a lot of brands that you know when skinny jeans became a fashion thing was due to like yep. the jerk stuff. The also, jerk. Yep. um, Velado shoes um became a big thing. Supras, Supras, yeah, um, yeah, I remember Supras, yeah. So they all were. I don't know for some reason I, w- I wanted a pair so bad. Yeah, me but too. My me mom too. said no. Me too. Me too. <laughs> And this uh, it's one of those things where you see how where the influ the word influencer really becomes a thing in this sense because they influence right, you to buy these right. things. You know what I mean? Because you wanted to. Yeah, and I think yeah. and I think that was like towards uh, towards the beginning of like social media really taking off with like Instagram. Yeah. Uh, YouTube started yep. getting big around that time. Mm-hmm. Facebook was crazy. Twitter was starting to to pick up as well, and like. I feel like we will see like all these uh, popular artists, and we'll be like, "Oh, those schools are are cool. Let me go get them." Um, facts. Especially with the Supras, with yeah. the Supras. Nah, like I think Lil Wayne was was wearing them. Uh, Tyga, a bunch of that of the rappers were wearing them. We're like, "Yo, we'll see them as soon as like, yo, these are cool." Yeah, they fell off though. Yo, no, that's true. That's yes, true. sir. Um, any other fashion ones from you or any other trends on your side? The Cookie Monster sweater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or the Thing 1 and Thing 2 shirts. Yeah, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> nah, facts. <laughs> but nah, or but, the, uh, here's, here's one. Let me. Th- this will be my last one. 
but the random scarf that we used to wear with your outfit. I'm guilty of this, man. <laughs> I, I was rocking scarves. It's, like I said, just because I seen older guys, you know, that I looked up to wearing them. Right. And uh, I was rocking them too. It made no sense, but, you know, it's part of fashion, I guess. I didn't, even know, even I didn't cold know how outside. to do that. Exactly. I didn't know how to do the tie <laughs> or do the scarf, and I was tying it some certain way. <laughs> but um, I think it's dope, though, to see the evolution of fashion. And, and uh, nah, it's true. you know, there's always going to be those ones that, you know, definitely stay put. And don't make themselves out mm-hmm. of that that time frame, but and thankfully mm-hmm. they don't. But uh, I think it's definitely nice right, to see. Right, right, right. But uh, I think it's you know this is good for the episode. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please let let us know in the comments um, any that we missed, uh, which are some of the fashion trends or trends you know from the two thousands that you couldn't stand or that you know you just like damn why was this a thing? Let us know in the comments down below. Um, any final words from you? Man, just go out there, be great. Uh, thank you, thank you guys for uh, coming in every week, supporting us, supporting the the podcast. Uh, like we always say, you know, we're still in this virtual virtual uh, scenario. Uh, we we still trying to figure out uh, how we're going to get it back in person. Uh, maybe soon, randomly, we'll, we'll try to put something together. Uh, where we have a couple episodes in person again like we did uh, at the beginning of the season uh, but thank you for the continuous support uh, also make sure to hit that link in the description sign up for the uh, merch newsletter slash giveaway thing going on yes sir yeah now like you said thank you guys for this continued support thank you for you know subscribing uh, you know getting our subscribers up and joining the family uh, we genuinely appreciate it and uh, like we said right now this is just part of the uh, foundation that we're building uh, fortunately it has to be virtual but you know you gotta go through this process and uh, continue to give you guys content so thank you guys so much uh, if you're new here guys please hit that subscribe button but most importantly like this video comment down below you know something about the episode that you enjoyed or comment down below what made you come to the United US channel and uh as always, as we say here when we wrap up, super important, guys. Please, as we mentioned, remember to subscribe. And let's buy. And let's buy. Dr. Michael. <laughs> Have a good week, guys.